internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian Taste Test Things and Stuff. We're, we're, or just taste tests. Well, whatever. I am really, really excited about these. So I went out looking for the, I think it's Philly cheesesteak ruffles potato chips, and I couldn't find them. And I went looking for the jelly donut flavor of Oreos, and I couldn't find them. But I found these instead. I found Vintners, which is apparently a local Chicago snack company. Chicago Smokehouse Rib Flavored Ridgelets. I'm guessing they're calling them Ridgelets because they're ruffled or ridge-like potato chips. Ridgelets. With Smokehouse Rib Flavored Ridgelets, it makes it sound like riblets. But regardless, they're not barbecue chips. They are rib flavored chips. See? The ribs right here. Chicago Smokehouse rib flavored ridgelets. I'm excited about this because I love ribs. Uh, ribs are my favorite food. I had ribs last night for dinner, actually. Excited. But, but, super excited for the waffles and syrup Oreos. Huh. Oh man, I, I don't know what it is about the sudden need to put savory flavors in snack foods, but I'm all about it. I love waffles. Waffles and breakfast, it's perfect. Waffles and lunch and, and whatever, waffles. If they made waffles and ribs together, I would die a happy man because that I would eat myself to death, basically. But anyway, waffles, ribs, my two favorite things. So. Really excited for these. Not sure which one to try first. I think I'm gonna go with the rib chips first. But uh, uh, I'm excited either way for both of these. So let's give it a go. And you can already tell that this bag is mostly air. I mean, if you look at the, the difference here at this top, clearly. And Vintners, Vintners is a company I've never had before either because I only just moved to Chicago, so. Not really getting a rib scent off of those, but I'm also not not getting it either. And yeah, look at that. Look at how much of that, how much of that was air. The crime. Potato chip companies, if you're paying attention, the chip to air ratio, not cool. You get a bag this big, you want a bag this big. You don't want a bag that big. Look at, look at how much space didn't have chips in it. That's a discussion for a different time. We're going to try the flavor of these. Get a, get a chip here. Now there's there's definitely flecks of some sort of flavor flakes on there. Alright, I'm getting kind of a barbecue scent, but not really. Alright. Definitely a smoky flavor. It's basically a barbecue chip, but it is more smoky than most barbecue chips tend to taste. These are pretty good, actually. I dig these. All right, fitters, I am a fan. These are good. I'm not getting a rib flavor. I'm getting a, a, a smokehouse barbecue flavor. I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. <laughs> Wasn't expecting, hey, these chips taste like meat. That would be kind of cool, but weird. So I'm happy with this, but still, if I want something that tastes like ribs, I'm gonna eat ribs. But these, these are good. I would have these with ribs. It was not bad. I dig these. Now we're moving on to the waffles and syrup Oreos. <laughs> Man. I have a feeling, like the rib flavored chips, that they're gonna taste more like barbecue than ribs, these will taste more like syrup than waffles and syrup. But we'll find out. There's a golden cream Oreos. So it's the golden cookie with the cream filling. Now we know what the golden cookie tastes like, so we're not we're not gonna bother with that. It's the filling that we're really interested in. And I think it's because of the the pattern on the inside of the Oreo that made the filling look a little waffle. Look at that. Got a little waffle imprint on it. Sort of. It smells like regular Oreo cream. Now, 
With a lot of these flavors, there's a very strong chemical smell off of them. Like the, the fruit punch is a very pungent chemical smell off of those cookies. This I'm not getting that off of, which is surprising. I'm also not getting a syrup smell either though, so make of that what you will. Just smells like a like an Oreo cookie. I'm not getting any waffles and syrup flavor. I got just Oreo cream. Now, it looks like the little inner part is supposed to be, I couldn't tell if the inner part was supposed to be waffles or if it was supposed to be syrup. But the outer part, the white part, is definitely just the normal white Oreo cream. Hmm. I'm gonna be very disappointed, you know, because I was more excited about the, the waffles and syrup cookies than I was the, the rib chips. If these continue, like, to have that non-flavor, I mean, sure, their Oreos are great. I'll eat them. But I was hoping for a waffles and syrup flavor. Let's, let's see if it is with the cookie. If anything, it's, it's super mild. It's a super mild, syrup-esque flavor. Nothing strong that would make you think, oh, those are waffles and syrup cookies. Other than looking at the cream in the center and seeing the different color, you're not gonna think these are any different than the normal golden cookie. That's unfortunate because I, I would hope that I would get, like, actually with, with most of the Oreos that I've had that have been the different flavors, they've been a strong flavor. And these aren't. And this is the one I was hoping for a strong flavor on. It's kind of disappointing. That's it for those. Uh, the rib chips, definitely a good, good flavor. Really enjoyed those. If you have the Vintners near you, I definitely recommend trying them. I found the Vintners at Target here in Chicago, and the waffles and syrup Oreos I found at Jewel Osco. Your mileage will vary, especially if you don't have a Jewel Osco near you. In Baltimore, where I used to live, Jewel Oscos were called Safeway. My name is Insane Ian. Uh, please share the videos if you like this comment. And let me know anything else you'd like to see me taste test. If you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing. And you can check out the old videos of previous taste tests right here. Bye. <laughs>